Hello, hello, this is Tip Top Gaming here today with another video. Now today we're going to be talking about MTG Arena news. More specifically, how they're changing Historic again. So for, the, for those of you who don't know, Historic is Magic the Gathering Arena's uh, version of Modern. And uh, they've announced it twice, both times they, it was met with massive backlash. The first time it was due to a lacked, lack of ranked mode, and the second time it was because they wanted to charge you two historic wild or two wild cards for one historic card. And so they came back and said, here's what we're changing. Alrighty, so why don't we get into this? So there, here's their little uh, graph explaining, or this little uh, graphic, but we're just going to jump into down here where it explains all of this. So, Wild Card Redemption. We will no longer be changing Wild Card Redemption rates for rotated cards in November. Redemption for all rotated cards will remain one-to-one. -one. The best piece of feedback we received and discussed was how much players want to test and brew new and different historic decks, and we certainly wanted players to be able to do so. While MTG Arena will always focus on standard gameplay, the two-to-one redemption created the wrong kind of incept in Oh my god. We created the wrong kind of stru structure. We wanted to reward players for playing standard and set up Historic as a complementary experiment experience, much like with Singleton and Popper. So they basically said, hey, we realized we messed up. We're going to change that now, so please don't be mad at us. Um, I think this was the right move. However, I think this was very obviously going to receive a lot of backlash, and it almost feels like they did it on purpose to be like, oh, we're the good guy. We changed it. Um... So yeah. Next, why don't we go into historic events? We plan on it holding at least one historic event every month starting in November. These events will range from things you've seen before to new experiences. This will include historic draft events. Some historic events will cost gems, others will be accessible through gold, and these events will reward progress on quest, daily, and weekly win rewards, and mastery XP. Um, so a thing to note is that before they said, oh, you'd get a bunch of, like, full play sets of these historic cards. However, now th you can't do that. Like, they, they you know, they, they won't do that. This is just going to be basically another form of event. However, you will be able to get mastery XP. And part of that may show you that ranked drafts or, like, drafts in the future may start rewarding mastery XP as it gets integrated more fully and is updated as they learn new things. So I think that's also a really good step. New historic cards. We will start to add new cards in, to historic in November, so they're not planning on changing that. We'll be thinking through what the right target of cards to add is and how players can acquire these cards. These cards will be added to the game differently than cards in standard, but we're still working out exactly how to do that. So before they did it through the event things, however, it looks like they're changing their mind on that, so they're coming up with a new way to do it. However, it won't be packs or exclusively wild cards, I would assume. However, it, I guess it could be. They might be like, well, now it's not 2 to 1, but you also don't get all these free cards. Then, Historic Packs. They originally said that you would only be able to buy 45 pack of the packs for uh, rotated sets. However, now you'll be able to buy all of them. However, um, it's not super clear whether that includes the coin one. I assume it would. I hope it does. Um, but yeah. And then they said, remember the state of the game, because it's going out of beta. Um, September 26th will be coming up soon. I believe that's either on the 20th, I think it's on the 20th, um, but yeah, yeah. So why don't we take a look at this, wow, that's really big, why don't we look at it like this. So, what they're changing, Wild Card Redemption is going to be, it was previously 2 to 1, and now it's 1 to 1. Honestly, when I was theorizing about this, I thought it should be 1 to 2, but you know, th that's fine. Historic Play Q, always on Historic Play prog progresses daily, re daily and weekly wins and quest. So, um, always on Historic Play will only progress progressive quests. So, I'm pretty sure what that means is it won't count towards your daily or weekly wins. However, it will work towards, like, cast 20 blue or black spells. So, that'll work towards that. Um, however, this is to encourage people... Because I think their idea was they wanted people to keep playing standard, so they basically made it so Historic was the secondary game mode. However, I feel like with this, they're trying to it's just still encourage you to play standard because if you want to get your 15 we wins a week, you do have to get 15 standard wins a week. Unless you're doing Historic events. And then the Historic events, they're starting in November just like before. And then Historic Ranked is still only going to be available for a limited time in December. And I see a lot of people complaining about this. However, I feel like if you show, if you really want Historic Ranked, participate in that event. 
it will show them that this is something that's wanted by the community and i feel like because they said data is a very important thing to this format and that they want to act quickly and make sure that things don't get out of hand because they don't have to operate within the other rules of standard uh with in terms of banning they could suspend cards restrict cards all that so they said the analytics are important and so if you play this they'll definitely see that and talk about making it a permanent game mode then new historic cards is to be determined um and then you'll be able to buy all sorts of historic packs I think this is a really good direction for Historic. I wish it was like this to begin with. I feel like they should have known that this was going to be um, heavily criticized. However, remember this will... Um, however, it's good that it's here now. Um, yeah. So remember, these will be taking effect September 26th. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and are excited about these updates, uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys. Bye.